Hello everyone and welcome to this video. It's Leonard here again from Detailliner.com and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to share with you a simple scalping strategy that I use on Binance with just two indicators. Okay, and this strategy with an account balance of $200 has continually made me between $10 to $30 on a daily basis. Okay, using just two indicators and then um, the signals that I get from a bot that I've been using to, you know, uh, always trade officials on Binance, which I'll be sharing with you in this video. So if you are new to my channel, if this is your first time of seeing my videos and then you love videos about making money online, about crypto trade and investing, then consider subscribing all right subscription will not cost you anything actually consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time you know videos like this are published and if you want to learn more about crypto link to join my telegram group will be in the video description i do have zoom meetings once in a while where all my followers get to ask me questions and i get to provide answers to them all right so with that being said let's jump right into the strategy now to be able to do this this is strictly features trading you need a binance account and if you're in nigeria it is very easy to get your binance account verified all you just need to do is sign up with the link in the video description or on the comment section um and then once you sign up um binance will automatically direct you to you know just follow the on-screen instruction when it comes to the verification page just use your bvn and you are good to go you don't need to upload anything and your account will be verified that is it all right so once you get a verified account you have you know binance working you need a features trading account on the binance exchange as well okay so you need to go through those processes and at the end of the day fund the account and you can implement the strategies all right so to jump straight into it without wasting our time we are going to use two indicators and i'm doing everything on the binance app all right i'm going to do everything on the binance app normally i prefer using my laptop when it comes to technical analysis but i found out that majority of you who watch my videos you don't have laptops so it's equally better you know how to do this on your mobile phone okay so that you can equally be um taking advantage of the money all right that is in features trading okay all right so with that being said now i had to this is what my binance app looks like if you don't have the pro version of the app all you just need to do is to click on the icon at the top left all right so once you click that all right you see this option where it says um binance light by default yours will be checked on so make sure you check this off all right and that will switch you from the binance and um, light to the professional mode and you'll be able to get an interface like what i have here okay with this interface i have my binance okay i have trades here then i have features here so I want to go to the features and you know click on it okay so once i go ahead and click on this okay the next thing is to go to my chart all right to assess the chart on this features trading platform i need to click on this candle stick here okay the candle the candle um stick sample here all right so go ahead and click on it so once i click on this this is what the chart looks like on your mobile phone all right so you can actually um rotate your phone okay you can rotate your phone to look at it very well but um for the um purpose of this demonstration i'm just going to leave the phone the way it is okay so now basically what i use okay what i use in this trading strategy or this scalping strategy is just two indicators and that indicator is the bollinger bands and then the rsi this is what i use now how do you assess this indicator by default binance already added all of these indicators into your chart on the app all right on the binance mobile app so you see um, the ma here you see the ema you see this um, b o l uh, represents the bollinger bands okay this represents the bollinger bands then you have the volume which is this okay then you have the macd you have the rsi and the rest so any of these indicators you want to use on the mobile app you can also it. for instance if i want to toggle by default okay this volume is checked on that is why it is highlighted okay anyone that is gray that it means that it is not active so if i want to check the volume off i just go ahead and click on it and the volume goes off if i want to check the rsi off i'll go ahead and click on it and it goes off if i want to check the bollinger bands off okay i just go ahead and check on it and it goes off we only have just the candlesticks okay 
so but i use the bollinger bands and then the rsi so these are the two indicators that i use in this scalping strategy and the first thing you want to do is to tweak the settings okay on these two rsi on your own rsi you'll be seeing three different lines and that means it's using all of the three rsi that binance provide for you on the app so to edit this indicator all you just need to do is you know to come in here to this icon okay this icon here looking like an arrow facing each other so go ahead um, um go ahead and click on it okay so once i click on it it pops up this way when it pops up you want to go ahead and click on indicator okay so i'll click on indicator and these are all the indicators that are available for you okay these are all the indicators that are available for you to use on the binance app so my first settings is to go to the rsi and click on it so once i click on it by default you will have you know the rsi with um six as its value the one with 14 the one with 24 you have all of this checked okay you have all of this checked let me check that and show you how it appears if i click on confirm okay and we'll go back to the chart so this is what you will see okay this is what you will see in the rsi so we just need only one of those and which is the full 14 so um go ahead and click on this again go to indicator and then come to rsi so here i will uncheck the sys rsi check the 24 rsi okay uncheck this all right so i'm only going to use the 14 rsi okay so this is the one we are going to use you can change the color by just clicking this arrow okay if you want you can just go ahead and tweak things around there if you can make it bold okay once you do that this is the setting we need with the rsi go ahead and click on confirm all right and then the next thing is to do um actually tweak the bollinger bands so i'll go ahead and click on it once i click on it and um, whatever value you have here okay if it is less than 30 just increase it to 30 this is the only changes you need to do here then if you are not comfortable with the colors you can choose whatever colors you prefer okay all right so once you finish that go ahead and click on confirm all right and once that is confirmed you will be having something like this except if you change the colors Okay, you'll be having what I'm having on my chart right here. Okay, so how do we use this to start taking traders, to start um, scalping the market? That is what we're going to talk about next, okay? So if you have gained any value in this video, do give it a thumbs up and don't forget once again to subscribe if you have not done that already, okay? So to the next step, now the best way we use this is we're going to trade, okay? Once we finish setting this up, okay we are going to choose a lower time frame so in my scalping strategy i use between five minutes okay and 15 minutes okay in scalping so these are all the time frames you have here all right if you want more of this time frame just click on more and you'll see other time frame the five minutes 30 minutes you know and it goes on all right so i'm going to use um uh, right now the time frame is on the daily time frame so i want to go back to the um, 15 minutes time frame okay so i equally check the four hours time frame to see the direction of the market once i get a better direction i come back to the you know 15 minutes and take my trace there okay but before we do this i actually use the app an app that gives me signals for any trade i want to enter so i confirm those signals with these two indicators the rsi and then the bollinger bands so this is what i do I go to the app bot okay get the signals come in here confirm the signals okay if it gives me a clear direction with these two indicators then i go ahead and take the trade if it tells me sell i go ahead and short the trade if it tells me um, um buy i go ahead and long the market all right so let me open up the bot so the bot that i use in um, taking trades in scalping the market all right is called metafishers which is what you're looking at right now it is called metafishers bot and it is the bot is only meant for you to be trading features okay it is strictly for features you can bind it up to your binance account via api all right and the bot trades features on your binance account it is a bot okay that you can bind to your binance account you're not depositing your money into the bot to start taking trades all of your funds and your binance account all right so from your binance account you can be taking trades with the bot i have videos on the bot okay if you want to use the bot strictly on automation and the rest i have videos um that on how to use the bot okay and more videos will be coming on the bot 
So basically what I do is there, are, there is another feature aside automating, copying traders and then doing manual trades using the bot. There is another feature that is implemented here, which is the signal features. Okay, here we have the top 10 gainers. Okay, and if I toggle this, it switches to top 10 losers. Okay, this bot on a daily basis gives you the tokens that are doing very well in the market, those that are not doing very well in the market. Okay, and on it, on each of these, it gives you a signal recommendation. Okay, which I can find there. So if I click on this icon here, that is a signal too. So if I click on it, on this particular coin, okay, what is simply telling us, okay, it gives you the different time frame, one minute from one minute to one hour. So this strong buy we are seeing here, I'll go ahead and click on the different time frames and look at, um, take a, a look at the, um, the signals that we are getting, okay? So if I click on the one minute time frame, um, you see here that we have a buy, okay? We have a buy, all right? You see total buy signals, okay? Total sell signals and then total neutral signals. Once it is neutral, okay? Once the recommendation you say neutral is because um the market is in range you don't need to you know take a trade when the market is going sideways okay so the bot says buy on the one minute time frame five minutes it equally says buy the recommendation is buy on the 15 minutes it says strong buy all right and remember my scalping strategy is between five minutes and 15 minutes so i can long this trade so on the 30 minutes it says strong buy and then on the one hour is equally a strong buy okay so I'll close this and what token do we do this? Do we get the signals from? It is this ATA USDT. Okay. So now that I've gotten a direction or a coin that I want to trade, in this case, we are going to long this coin. Okay. So longing this coin will go back to Binance. So once I come back to Binance, I want to go back to the features account. Um, I'll just use the arrow here to go back to the features trading account. Okay. So here on the features trading account, I want to click here this is where i can select my coin so i click there and go and here and type the ata ata is okay i think that is the token with just a Cessna ata usdt all right so it is ata usdt if i click on it it opens up okay and then we go back to the chart again by clicking at the top here so we'll go back and click on that again all right so the settings we've made already is already here Okay, the settings we did already with the Bollinger Bands and then the RSI is already here. So if we navigate, okay, between the one hour and the 15 minutes time frame, you see that the signal that we got that strong buy is actually very, uh, um, you know, working out well. Now, one thing you need to um, look out for is this, okay. Now, these two lines, okay, these two lines here serves as resistance and support. Okay, and then the middle line on the Bollinger Band serves as um, an average. This is average between, you know, whatever time frame you are trading on between these two lines. There is a way this um, works. Okay, you see as this is um, going up, shooting up, there is every tendency that this market will start retracing back. All right. <laughs> it may not be immediately, but just give it time. This market will start tracing back. So since we have a strong buy, okay. If I have gotten that signal before now, I think the market has gone far before getting the signal. But if I've gotten that signal and my RSI is here, okay? Now on the RSI, though we are do doing this on the mobile phone, so you may not see the setting clearly. The line here, okay, this line here, whenever your uh, token is, the, the this line, the RSI um, signal line is overlapping with the line below here, okay, the lower part here, it means that the market is oversold okay um, then there is need for you to be looking to long the market okay and now that this is shooting up you see that the rsi is coming to touch the 70 level so we have 70 which is the overbought and then we have the 30 which is the oversold okay so what you want to look at and whenever this happens okay you see that this is trading above the resistance line here okay so there's every tendency that this will retrace back to the average okay in most cases it to break the average line and come back to the support level and it continues to trade this way okay so whenever this is trading above or within this line here and you are seeing a retracement okay and this rsi is at the 70 level okay when you see a retracement what you should be looking at for is to short the market you wait for the market to retrace back okay that is why it is said that um, the crypto market is a volatile one the market does not just go straight 
um, the way it is. It, 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 it cannot continue to shoot up straight forward. Okay, that is why a lot of persons get disappointed when the market they are entering the market and then all of a sudden it started reversing back. So what you want to look at for is for the ROI side. Once this is shooting up, okay, I, I may not be able to long this market right now because I am entering the market late. Okay, except if the market continues to go off from here, but I'm entering the market late right now because the RSI on the 15 minutes time frame is already shooting up to the close to the 70 level. So I'll wait for it to touch the 70 level and when it starts retracing back, I'm going to short this market. Despite the fact that the bot gave me a strong buy. That strong buy, I have missed it a lot. Okay, I missed the signal a lot. So if I've checked earlier, then I would have followed the direction of that signal and buy. But right now, this um, RSI is about, um, you know, touching the overboard level, which is, you know, the, the 70 level. And when it does that, I wait to retrace back. But since it is scalping, that we are scalping, I can actually take some profit in this market if I want to follow the direction. Okay, because the RSI is yet to touch the 70 level. So I can follow the direction and short this market at this point. Okay, but let me just wait. Whenever um, this hits the 70 level, I'll wait for it to retrace back and then I'll short the market from here. Remember, on the five minutes on the, and the 15 minutes time frame, that is what we use to scalp the market. If I want to go to the five minutes time frame, I'll click on move and then I can select five minutes. Okay, and you see that on the five minutes already, this is about retracing okay on the five minutes this is going to retrace any moment now all right so we had all of these green candles going up this way so any moment from here this market will start retracing back so we can you know short the market and go ahead and take profit because already the rsi here is trading at the 70 level okay so once again you get the signals from the board okay if you got that signal very early let's say somewhere around there then you would have long the market and you got that but now that the RSI is almost at the 70 level. Then we'll wait for it to retrace back and then we'll short the market. Okay. So two ways to use the signals you get. If you get the signals very early, go ahead and use it and enter the market and follow the direction uh, the signal is giving you. But once you come in here and you see that your RSI has already touched the 70 level, then you wait for the market to retrace back and you go ahead and short the market. This is the simple strategy I've been using that has been making me with just $200 in my account that has been making me between $10 to $30 on a daily basis. Okay, this is manually doing it. I'm manually doing it. But the bot can be used to automate all of these processes. I just wanted to share this with you. Okay, if you're a feature trader, if you're a lover of features trader, um, Meta Features Bot is awesome. I recommend it. Okay, you don't have anything to fear because you are not putting your money into it your money is in your exchange so you trade here yourself and you make profit then if you don't know how to trade features you can equally learn a lot from the meta features board all right you can use meta features board to learn how to trade features so what you just need to do is uh, it costs 150 dollars to activate that board for a year so it costs 150 dollars to activate that board for a year if you want there is a link in the video description you can sign up for an account join my telegram group let me know that you signed up and i see how best i can help you to achieve you know success in the futures trading space using that bot that is all i have for you in this video once again if you do gain value from the video give it a thumbs up okay and um if you have not just subscribe and hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published and i'll see you guys in the next video